Welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're going to be looking at Recapio GPT. This is AI, AI Alfred, and they rebranded and renamed to Recapio GPT. If we come and take a look uh, about a week or a few weeks ago, I did two videos on AI, AI Alfred. I just now purchased it. I was able to get these videos out on the free version, but I did really like the software and I don't want to miss out on it. So I went ahead and purchased this software. So we're gonna be taking a look at it. This used to be a AI Alfred, um, but they've completely rebranded to Recapio GPT. Um, I did scroll down here, let's see, under questions. And you'll see, I did ask them, why the name change? Why does the tool have GPT in the name now? Thanks. They got back to me right away. Hello, we um, have decided to choose a more international name linked to our goal too. AI Alfred was not related to the business GPT for the tech. So Recapio for the term recap, and uh, you've got GPT because they are using the tech GPT to write the summaries. So it, and they're recapping or summarizing content. So it makes total sense. I like the name. I like the name change. It kind of makes more sense than just AI Alfred, which kind of doesn't mean anything. The Recapio GPT is more techy and I do think that it just, it flows well. So uh, no big deal. Sometimes when you're off the, um, off the floor and running, you, um, Sometimes you might get the name wrong, uh, but it's not too um, late for them to change the name. They just launched the the LTD. Now, it would have been best if they would have uh, fixed the name a couple weeks before this. But nonetheless, this is what the, um, just to try to clear up some of the confusion that you might have, Recapio GPT is now, um, used to be AI Alfred. Okay, so they've rebranded everything. We'll go and look at the... Uh, roadmap uh, right here so we can click on new features and you can go and vote summary output options in progress give users more control over the what uh, summary type of summary uh, and what type of output options so they're going to be adding more um, they did add um, PDF summary. Um, I'm not going to go over the uh, summarizing PDFs, but um, apparently this is already, uh, people are already talking about it in the comments. So this might already be kind of in beta or launched. Uh, read later options. And so you can see what's popular and so forth. And it gives you a status and so forth of what's going on. And then here's the roadmap in progress, summary output options and read later and then complete summary tone. I'll be showing you all that. And then they haven't added what's planned right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that right there. So this is, uh, they actually have two ways you can use the tool. You can use the summarizer. I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, but then you also have the Recapio GPT, like the website. Once you log in over here, you'll be able to go over to summary and you can actually put in a website right over here. And then, or you can actually put the text in here to summarize as well. So a couple of different ways you can do it. Really cool. Um, and then you have these advanced options right over here. Um, you can choose right over here if you want short, medium, or long paragraphs. Um, so this is all new, even in the last couple of weeks that they've added that you did not have these options a couple of weeks ago. Um, and so this is user feedback and they are adjusting the tool. You like to see it. You like to see the developers listening to uh, the customers of what they would like to see the tool and, and where they would like it to go and they are listening and they are delivering quickly so really cool here's the voice tones that you saw um, they've added all these authoritative caring casual ch uh, cheerful um, coarse conservative conversational creative all the way to informative humorous uh, funny friendly frank formal and so forth writing style academic analytical argumentative conversational creative so you can really uh, narrow down how you want them to so if you have a humor web humorous website you could come over here to voice tones and go humorous and then writing style you could also come in here and write um so i have a hard time with that word uh satire i'm just gonna say that um and let's see over here um creative so you might get some funny creative um summaries if you select that but that might be a really good um a combination right there and then translation you can actually have it translated into all these different languages right here and so forth right so you can use the site in here really cool um, but then also you can come over here and i brought up this um website eight best treadmills under one thousand uh, right over here i want to kind of see how long this is about a rough estimate so this is a 5500 word article right here 
So what you'll do is you'll come over here, you'll install the um, extension and you'll just click on it right over here. It's gonna give you all these key sentences and we're gonna actually use these key sentences in a minute, but you also have the summary over here. So it created this summary um, based on reading what's um, available on the web page, and then it gave us a summary right here and wrote this summary for us. We can copy this, we can actually, um, I'm gonna go click on edit. You can actually come in here and type and edit in here if you want to. Um, and then you can push save or cancel. Um, you can save this. And if you save this, I've already, it's, uh, see how, how it's highlighted in, in orange. If we go back over to the Recapio uh, website then, and go under saved, you'll see that it is saved in here. So um, you'll be able to go and look at all your uh, recent saves. And you can actually save all these, scrape them all, and then come back and you can read these. Technically, they're going to be adding a read later feature in here, but you could also just come in here at your own leisure and log in and go and read all these recaps right here. You know, something really cool if they're watching this video is adding the ability to schedule from different websites um, automatic summaries to where you could come in here and actually like, uh, you know, a couple times a week or once a day, go in here and, and just read the summaries of, of your favorite web, favorite websites, um, which would be super, super cool. I'm going to block this out right over here. Well, I mean, I guess it's not really giving any other information, but um, another really cool thing, a big surprise is that they gave me 250 summaries. I don't know. I don't know if that's an accident or not, but they haven't updated the listing, but they gave me, I just purchased it, the one that's available on AppSumo and I got 250 summaries. So and you can have up to 500 saved summaries. So I think that they um, updated this to, I'm not really sure um, why I'm getting so many summaries. I don't know if that's a mistake or what, but 250 summaries, I think that they might've just um, upgraded it and just said, hey, you know, we're gonna give 250 summaries to everybody um, because it's it says right now that you get 50 right there for purchasing the $39 package. So um, either way, we're gonna go back over here and I'm gonna show you like how and how to use the tool and why this is cool. For one, if you just want to save time, um, gaining more knowledge and being up to date with all your favorite websites and current events and so forth, having it summarize the text and then just being able to go in here and read this and be basically, instead of write, reading a 5,500 5, word article, you could read this a uh, few hundred words right here and basically um, at least be informed of of what's going on in the article um, for 300 words, right? So that is very useful. That's gonna help with productivity in your business and in your life and so forth, whether you're gonna use this in your free time for hobby type information or whether you're using it like myself for business. So really cool stuff. Trying to find where we can also make the adjustments uh, under profile right here. We can go to advanced summary over here as well. And this is where you can change all of your tones as well right here. So if you're in a specific niche, maybe you want to go with something that's fitness or something like that. Um, and then this is where you can go with medium and you can go, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the long five to six paragraphs right here and make it a little bit longer. And I'm gonna refresh the page. So we were at, um, let's, let's go test it out again. So we do have these saved right here. And I want to test this out for you guys. Uh, word counter is 340 words. I want to go and see if we can get this to be more. So I'm going to go ahead and push refresh on the page. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on Recapio GPT. And maybe it won't re-summarize it. I'm not sure if it'll re-summarize it. Um, the full summary is currently being generated. Yeah, so it's re-summarizing it for us. I'll be back in just a second. Uh, while it's doing that, let's actually go over to ChatGPT and show you how I would use this. So I've already done this ahead of time to save time in the video. Um, so I said, I need a blog post written based on the summary of the content from an article. I will provide the summary for you. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Please provide the summary and I'll write the blog post based on the content uh, from that article. ChatGPT is always ready to just go, right? They're always ready to just rock and roll, but we want to feed it a little bit more back information. I need the blog post to be in depth and to cover everything in the summary. Make it as long as you can aim for 1500 words we already know that when we tell it to write a 1500 word blog post for whatever reason chat gpt just always fails and that's another argument that i can make that these other tools like zimwriter and copify and all these other tools that i use are uh, way better um, in the long run for writing content for your uh, websites because you're going to save so much time in just the prompting just to get a 1500 word article you have to 
uh, take more time copying and pasting and prompting ChatGPT to get that done. So I really like uh, ChatGPT for several different things for business and so forth for for actual uh, marketing, uh, copy, copywriting, things like that. Um, but in writing emails, all kinds of good stuff. But when it comes to actually writing blog posts, I really don't prefer uh, ChatGPT because of those reasons. Um, and then I uh, it's, it said, yes, okay, boom. And then, so I said, here's the summary. And I put in the summary that you guys just saw. And then, so it started writing right here. And you can see it literally, um, and I've already tested this. Every single one of these is on the page. Um, you know, factual, relevant, live information. And the reason why this is such a cool tool is for those of you that really are using ChatGPT um, like this and to write blog posts and so forth, um, the problem with it is that it doesn't have a, a live web scraper. Well, this kind of um, is that solution to that. You're giving it information that is really, really, and sorry, live on a website, right? Um, is this information that we fed it. So we're feeding it all this information and then now it's writing based on that real factual live information. And then now you can actually get real good content. Um, I believe it wrote a, uh, an 800 word article. So not bad, not bad. I'd like it to be 1200 or more words. Um, but nonetheless, that's how I would use it. Now I wanna come back over here and go click on it and see if it's done with the summarizer and it, it should be done now. Okay, so it um, did the summary. And let's see if it's got, if it did any longer than what the other one was. So it did do a little bit longer, 361 words. And the last one was 340. So it did, it is longer. I recommend just using the long setting. Um, you could read that, but now I want to test it and show you guys. I want to actually grab all these sentences right here because I think we're getting more um, of the measurements. I think it did get a couple of the measurements wrong when ChatGPT actually um, was going to write the information. So what I want to do with this is copy this come back over here and I'm actually going to let's do that same prompt and then I'm going to go ahead and, and grab it like this as well and then it's going to write the same thing please provide the summary okay and then I'm going to say here is the summary so we're going to come back over here hopefully this makes sense to you guys we're going to try writing a blog post based on the key sentences that it found for us so I'm going to go ahead and copy this back into here and say here is the summary I'm going to paste that in and push enter and chat GPT. I'm actually using a uh, GPT four, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm using GPT four in this chat right here. I usually don't use chat GPT four, but I'm going to test, I'm testing it today um, because it's just so slow. I'll have to actually come back. You can see how slow it is right here. I don't know. It says that the reasoning that it, it does do a, a better job at reasoning. And so we're going to use this. Uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video um, and come back in just a minute. Okay, so one thing that I did, did, did notice is that by using the key sentences, the only the problem is, is that we have eight products on this roundup post and right here, this key sentence is right here. It just gives us a dimension. It doesn't tell us what product that belongs to. So that would be a, one of the reasons why we wouldn't really be able to use this roundup post in this fashion because it's going, it is giving us the wrong information. Um, so summary is probably going to be your best bet. It's usually going to, and then this is one of the other things. It has a product dimension of blank. So for roundup posts, I'm not really sure that this would actually work that well, but if we used it for something else, like uh, let's just um, grab this right here, how to make money on YouTube uh, with other people's videos. Let's go see if we can go to without making videos. Let's just click on this website right here. It's pretty recent. Uh, we clip on, click on a recapio right here. It's going to go summarize this. It did it really quickly. And then we would just go to the summary right here. I'm going to look at the summary. The full summary is being created. We can go over here and look at um, right here. Um, it's already uh, from what we were doing earlier. It's written this much text. We would need to go in. And these are some of the other things that, you know, I'm going to do a like a probably a video just kind of comparing using some of my favorite AI tools versus using chat GPT. And this is what you run into. You've only got 500 words here. You've got to push continue right here and it's going to continue writing this blog post. And then when it's done, look how slow it is. Then we're going to have to go and copy all of this. And then we're going to have to go and remove continue writing, do some formatting. Um, I could tell it to do markdown language, of course, um, but you're going to have to go in there and remove some of this stuff like continue writing. And you're just limited. It's not going to come out and, and bring you a 2000 word article um, as quick as um, places like um, or tools like uh, Zim Writer and Copify and other tools uh, like um, Hypotenuse and so forth.
So those are some of the um, things that I see that uh, those other tools are also really, really good. Um, but we'll come over here and we've got our summary right here. And that looks like a nice summary. I'm just going to copy that and also look at the word. So it gave us a 400 word summary. That is really cool. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go to new chat and we are going to use GPT um, three right here. And then I'm just going to say, write me a blog post um, based on the following uh, information provided, provided here boom and then enter and it's going to go out there boom 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 look how quick it is so this is way way better this is why i don't use gpt4 so it does use the uh, content that we provided right here but we would need to do more prompting in order to utilize and get more um, text because we basically got the same text. Uh, we didn't get a longer article. Um, I'm going to work on some other ways um, and find some other AI tools that we can actually backfeed it this much information in order to get it to write a blog post. I was looking um, in here at Copify. They do have custom workflows, but I'm still not finding a way. Um, one of the closest that I found was that under uh, the product review template, you can actually put in the features and it did allow me to put in the this whole bit right over here. Um, and then it went and provided this much content right here. But still, um, I, I'm going to continue looking for a way that we can put that much information in. I still think that it's beneficial to use it on ChatGPT, but I'm going to try to find an AI tool where we can feed it that much information. And then it can go and it, um, it'll already have the uh, backstory and the factual information to be able to write a really good blog post for us. So Anyways, this is Recapio. It's a very simple tool um, to use. It can summarize content. It can, um, you know, this is just really good for research and um, you can also take the con content and create articles based off of it. And if you wanted to, you could actually take several websites and do these um, in the same uh, niche, right? You could actually um, take several pieces of content and you could summarize them, right? Take the summaries, and then you could actually put them together into your own unique um, blog post. You could also you could also copy. Let's say we did four of these, and we ended up having about sixteen hundred to um, you know two thousand words based on four websites, right? Then you could go back in to Copify, and you could actually go into dashboards, and then you could go into workflows. And then you could go into the rewrite mode, right? And you could actually use the rewrite uh, section. Um, now this would be an, an interesting workflow because uh, on the, in this case, it's gonna be using a URL. So what you could actually do is you could actually put that on an actual um, URL and then paste that in uh, the URL right here and then push next and it's going to rewrite the entire content for you. So there's a lot of different things that you can do, but this is Recapio. I wanted to do a, another follow-up video just so you guys know, cause I've had some questions about what happened to AI Alfred. Well, it's Recapio GPT. I think that they're going to add more features and this tool is only going to get better and better. Um, and so that's why I picked it up. I really thought that this was a cool, interesting tool. So, and it's only $39. So if you want to go pick up a Recapio GPT and follow along with them and all their um, updates to the software, then uh, you can click the first link below. Uh, you can also hit that like button if you got any value from this video and I'll see you in the next video.